Yes, yes, people. Welcome back to another video, and it is the transfer roundup. There is actually some transfer news. Uh, there's not really been much going on as of late. It's been a little bit quiet, a little bit here and there. So we've had no real reason for these roundup videos, uh, or else we'd just be feeding you the random, uh, the random rubbish. And what I'm going to do now is feed you some more random rubbish. Um, so if you haven't already, do us a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hopefully, so you can get some signings this summer. There were rumors a few, uh, like a week ago or so, saying that we're ready to go into the season with the current squad, which I don't think is the case. I think City are working behind the scenes to make things happen. I think once these Euros are done, we'll be okay. First things first, though, Euros, knockout start tomorrow. We'll be here doing watch-alongs. If you've got nowhere else to be or you just sat at home chilling, then come come follow us for the Euros, knockouts, watch-alongs. Um, looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be exciting, man. going to be exciting. We're getting into the, the juicy part of the tournament. So, going into the transfers then. Uh, first things first, West Ham are set to sign Man City forward, uh, David Chiguada. He's only 16 years old. Uh, that's uh, as per the secret scout. Uh, that's going to be a signing, a younger signing for West Ham, who um, will probably just be, so it's a prospect for the future, as you all know. But uh, swerve that aside, that's uh, one outgoing we can talk about. Sergio Gomez, his his news has been popping off. There's been quite a few clubs linked with Sergio Gomez, including Bayern Munich. Uh, but the biggest one was Real Sociedad. Now, Real Sociedad is kind of stalled. Uh, I'm not sure where that is. Might be the fee with City or they might just want to take him on loan and City want to sell. Not sure really where that sits at the moment, but Sergio Gomez is looking for a way out. I think he already has asked to leave Manchester City th this year. So you just got to kind of wait and, and hope the, the, the future of his gets resolved quite quickly because no point keeping around, doesn't want to be here, we don't even use him uh, and he's definitely not a left back. I think so, I feel I feel for him because he's in a weird place right now, Sergio Gomez, where I don't really think he knows his best position. Personally, I think he'd do decent as a winger. Um, but moving on from that, uh, Liverpool are apparently ahead of Manchester City in the pursuit of Ryanite Nori from Wolves. Now, for me, I'm absolutely fine with that. I'm pretty sure C City have distanced themselves from Ryanite Nori. There has been some links in the past uh, saying that we're looking at him. But for me, again, like Sergio Gomez, great going forward, not a defender. Um, I think even Wolves have utilised him pretty much quite wide, like an attacking uh, wing fullback push quite further on up the pitch. Now, I don't think, really think that's what we need at the moment. We've got Vargel who can go forward there. Ake, I mean, I... I really don't think that we're going to end up with a fullback again this year. Um, I'd like a right back uh, if we do go and get one, but at the moment there's not really that many links, uh, bar probably Jeremy Frimpong, and even that, even that's a little bit quiet. Uh, next up is a big one actually. There's whispers in football uh, circles about Pep Guardiola signing a 12-month extension at Manchester City, which I think is a great idea. A 12-month rolling contract, something like that for Pep Guardiola. He can decide then if he wants to stay. It's just a bit annoying that we can't time down for, for a bit longer just on the basis that we're, we're going to have this conversation every year. If he keeps doing one-year extensions, we're always going to have this conversation of... Who do we get next? Who do we get next? But I can see Pep doing a 12-month extension. I don't think he'd leave right now um, or at the end of this deal. I say that with a lot of hope in mind that he doesn't leave, uh, knowing that the possibility is there. But personally, I think Pep's going to sign an extension. I think he's had the talks with uh, Sheik and all them lot and Cal doing and stuff, and I, 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 I think he'll sign an extension. Uh, that's, that's me. That's copium, that. Uh, next up, Danny Olmo. Some love him, some hate him. Most don't rate him. Uh, Danny Olmo, I've seen do well in years gone by. I've seen him do bits, right? But his injury record is abysmal. Um, he, he, the, at this current time, he's spent more time on the on the the table than he has on the pitch. So for me, I think it's a very high risk. He's got a £60 million release clause. However, Fabrizio Romano came out uh, yesterday and said, Man City appreciate Danny Olmo. City like the player. He was one of the players they had on the list, not had, um, for example, for the last two summer or two years ago. Now, that's why we was getting links to Danny Olmo quite recently. Uh, at the moment, as of now, City are not working on a deal for Danny Olmo. So Fabrizio Romano has shut this down. He said the intention of City is not to advance on this kind of solution because they're looking at different opportunities, different positions. So as of today, Danny Olmo is not going to end up as a Manchester City player, which I think, for me, is the right move. 
I think he'd be. I think City have had the talks. He's kind of like someone who's available, got a release clause in there, be very quick to do and quick to get over the line. So if it was in panic stations, we could at the end of the window just go, you know what, let's go get Danny Olmo. But as of now, I think we're we're rightly focusing on other targets. Speaking of other targets, Bayern Munich's Joshua Kimmich and Jamal Musiala, both of them um, have been scouted by City. And they, they consider them elite additions to the squad. Now, I, if you've watched any of our streams, you know that I'm a big fan of Kimmich. I think it's the right move for City. I think he's very versatile, a very good player. Musiala, having a great Euros, I think would be unreal in this City side. It cost a lot, a lot of money, but I think he'd be very, very good for Manchester City. Um, a few months back, City were made aware of Kimmich's availability. Um, and Pep has always loved the idea of getting him in. Getting him in. He's apparently... Um, rumoured to be around 30 to 40 million euros to sign Kimmich. Now, for me, I think that's that's a good price. I'd go and do it. Why are we waiting? I'd go and do it right now. Uh, but I, obviously, like because of the euros and stuff, I think things will start to move a lot faster afterwards once the, once the tournament is done. But I would 100% be going for Joshua Kimmich. Uh, next up, Jeremy Frimpong. By Leverkusen, Jeremy Frimpong is of interest to Manchester City. Now, I've heard that a million times, and that's the only thing I hear, is of interest to Manchester City. Some people tell me in recent streams that he's not very good defensively, but great going forward, as we've all seen. Um, I like the idea of bringing him in. I think it'd be a good backup to Kyle Walker. Uh, Walker can be a little bit more defensive. I think we'll end up keeping older Kyle Walker in this window. Uh, I don't think we'll let him go. So I think getting Jeremy Frimpong in, I think it'd be a decent signing. I think he's got a release clause of 35 million euro or 35 million pound, whichever way it is. Um, I think it's, it, it, it'd be a decent signing for City. Bring him back and um, see what he can do going forward on that on that right-hand side. But yeah, that's the, the only thing is, and it, quite, quite a common theme really of this transfer roundup is the defensive side lacks a little bit, but going forward, great footballers. Uh, next up. Speaking of going forward, Wolves' Pedro Neto is available at the right price this summer. Uh, City have had an interest in him in the past. We've all seen the links and the rumours going around about Pedro Neto for quite a while. He's another one who's a little bit transfer, uh, a little bit injury prone. Um, apparently, he's one that City are looking at. And there's more rumours going into Eze, another winger. Uh, like, do you know what I mean? Can play in the midfield, can, a bit versatile. Eze... Um, who at the moment doesn't really play too much in the England setup at this year, Rose, but City also had an eye on him in the past, and we know that there has been links to him in the past. Um, I've seen it's heating up in the transfer streams that we've done about going and getting Eze. However, City have distanced themselves from Eze at this moment in time, so it leads to kind of looking elsewhere. Now, I'm not really sure where else City are looking, but that leads us on to the last bit of news of this transfer roundup, Pep, apparently, is currently in the market for a world-class, quote, world-class wide forward to be an immediate starter for Man for Manchester City for the next season. So he's looking for someone to come into this City side, be an immediate starter of world-class stature. Now, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Who do you think Pep could be talking about here? Who do you think is on his radar as a world-class wide forward who would immediately start for Manchester City? Let me know in the comment section below, who's your world-class wide forward who you think City are potentially looking at, or who do you want City to sign? Let us know in the comment section below. Big up to everyone. Please like the stream. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. These are just short transfer roundups that we're gonna, we try and do daily. Obviously, at the moment, there's not really much going on, but just try to collate a little bit of news for you. But yeah, let us know in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>